Joy Behar, Candace Cameron Bure, Raven Simone, and Paula Ferris. Now, let's get things started. Candace's 40th birthday, and that is apparently how you start a show. So, right now, we should introduce today's guest of honor, along with her two dashing dancing partners. Please welcome. Come on out here, Maxim and Val, and where's the And I want to thank Val and Max for doing this special dance with me. You guys are real troopers for dancing with me. Thank you. You know, thank you. Who's that Chemerovsky sandwich here? I was totally. I, I know. I'm, I'm okay we with that to too. Retire. We got to retire that that <laughs> that thing. Like that. It doesn't even sound appetizing. No, oh, it no. does sound appetizing. It does. Trust sound. Me. It's it does. Follow. It was like a Midwestern, like a lot of bread and sauce. I feel like to say that I'm like gluten free and then just, yeah, it doesn't sound like okay, no sandwich. Okay, no sandwich. Okay, but nice wraps. <laughs> I loved you. I mean, I love you guys so much. I had you, you um, come on Fuller House and do an episode. Which I of the whole season. So did you guys have fun doing I, it? It was awful. I had a horrible time. <laughs> I had an awesome time doing it. I just watching it back and the characters that we channeled, it was very hard to watch how, you know. <laughs> uh, so you yeah, it was it, extremely inappropriate. You know, so the, wor the worst part about this is that it's actually us. <coughs> Unfortunately, this was not an act. It wasn't a character. So, no, it wasn't. Uh, yes, but I, I saw I that know. moment it, with Spanish su dubbing. Subtitles? You know, it, not subtitles, oh. like in Spanish, full on. Oh, they and so when he says that, let's go win it ourselves, it's all in Spanish and it just sounds even worse. <laughs> Will you guys come back and do another episode of Full we House? We would love to. We would love to. All jokes aside, it was an amazing time. Thank you. It, it felt like such a family, and, and anytime you're doing something with people that you love, it feels right. So we, we had a blast, Thank and we'd love to do it again. I love you guys. Aww, you. I can feel the love. And you know what? Speaking of feeling the love, Val, this, this season on Dancing with the Stars, you're with one of my closest friends, Ginger yes. Z, yes. Chief yes. Meteorologist at ABC News. Yes. And a good morning, Mark. Okay. Ginger Z had a baby three seconds ago. Amazing. The cutest little baby. What do you think is going to be her biggest challenge? I got to say, I'm so impressed with her. She's killing it, man. I'm, I'm so impressed with her. I'm so proud to be her partner. You know, this show for me is about creating stories and, and lifetime memories and friendships like this one. Mm -hmm. I mean, and she wasn't even my partner. So, uh, you know, Ginger is incredible. I'm, I'm so proud to help guide this, this new mother to, to finding her self again her you know i mean i think she's extremely confident because she's she is. smart and beautiful yeah. and driven but to find her sexuality or se sense you know just femininity again is ironically i'm the one trying to discover it for her <laughs> yeah. you bring the best out well, you guys are going to go on tour with dancing with the stars but max you just got engaged actually to um a dancing with the stars co-dancer is peter going to be a part of the tour Yes. Uh, first of all, it's not a Dancing with Stars tour. Dancing with the Stars uh, is taking a break, oh. and we are the tour of the summer. So yes. we're very proud of that. Uh, Peter, Peter, uh, I'm hey, sorry. did you hear how she said it? She I said, said the Val and Max tour. Yeah, because officially Max it's the Val Max and Val tour. tour. We've been kind of I lost the rock paper scissors contest. Basically, <laughs> it's not. It's not true. Elder it's not true. It's not. Okay. Anyway, we'll it's, talk a, anyway. it's a Max and Val. It's a Max and Val tour. Obviously, we're very proud of it. No, it's a 46 city tour for us to be able to have it after the. You know, the history that we had in this country, I feel like this is a blessing and, and a huge responsibility. We want to do our best, and this is going to be a fantastic show. I'm excited to see it. Thank, Thank you. you. And that, that's how that goes. <laughs> and we're going to go and come right back, because, you know, she's got a lot more birthday to get through. Yeah. So, but here, here is a special birthday message from one of the special men in Candace's life. Hey, Candace, it's Bob. Oh, Bob Saget. We work together. I love you. Happy birthday. I hope when I'm a 40-year-old woman, I look as great as you. You look 20. Uh, I've known you since you were 9 or 10, and you're one of my best friends, and I love you. So have a wonderful birthday, and I hope this video just made you happier than all the other videos. Love you. If you're looking to be president, where's the place you come to be heard? Hillary was here yesterday, and now Friday, Bernie's back. All right, let's do it. Friday, it's Bernie Sanders live on the Emmy-nominated The View on ABC.
So next time you entertain. Jeffrey, you do think of everything. Be a perfectionist. Try Cascade. Cheers. Star and Candace when she was seven. That's cute. That was you were very cute. Very, very cute. cute. And so I should give you a quick political update. Mississippi passed a really dumb law. Ted Cruz and Bernie Sanders shook things up yesterday by winning big in Wisconsin. And Bernie's going to be here on Friday, so everybody's going to be talking to him. That's what's happened so far. Yeah. Amy Schumer uh, is a little annoyed with, at Glamour Magazine for putting her in their plus size issue without telling her. She posted that she's between a size six and eight, and for young girls to think that is plus size is not cool. Glamour claims they never call her plus size, just a woman whose positive body image is inspiring. Well, so is, well so Glamour Magazine said in a statement that this special edition, edition issue is aimed at women size 12 and up, not eight or six. So I don't know where that came from. Well, well she, Amy is saying she's a size eight or six and shouldn't be in this issue really at all. Yeah, but somebody this morning was saying that they consider an eight a plus size. I was yes. trying to, that's what I was trying to say just now. Like, in the industry that we are in and the fashion industry, a size eight and up is actually plus size. Yes, and I'm a size eight. So according to the fashion industry, I'm plus size. So that's why there's such a disconnect between the normal everyday woman and those supermodels that you see because that's not the normal size that walks around on our planet on an everyday basis. It's not. And, and in fact, the normal size is an 8 to 10. No, no. CDC says that the average woman is a size 14. And I don't, this to me is a broader discussion. I think there's a problem with the fashion industry. Like, why are we portraying size 0, 2, and 4? Nothing against that, but that is not the norm. I mean, well, that is not the norm at all. And 8 should not be a plus size. It used to be, be. It it used to be 14 the is the average uh, size of woman no. in America. I, it is, yeah. according to the CDC. Yeah. Yeah. I sometimes feel like fashion goes really small, and I heard this, I don't know if this is true or not, this was the rumor through me and my friends, is that they want a coat hanger. They just want a hanger to throw the clothes on so that the body itself of the female That's does right. not go against the fashion. Yeah. When in actuality, you want us to buy your clothes, why wouldn't you show me stretchy jeans on the walkway? I yeah. want to see stretchy well, jeans. If they're doing an issue on plus women, mm -hmm. and then they just put you in there without asking you, I think she has a point, to tell you the truth. I mean, not right. that it's an insult or not. It's like, oh, uh, why are you saying something that I may not Except think? Except this is, apparently is not a plus size, it's not a plus size issue. And where she is is the women who inspire them because they're happy with their bodies. That's what, that's what, that's what they put her in. Yeah, but the implication so, is there that well, it's plus no, size. Well, I don't know. That's what other people, that's, that's something people have put on themselves. Yeah. Can I just read you know? the, the quick statement from Glamour? They did say yeah, that they were focusing, they were focusing on say. women of all sizes. Yes. And they said, the edition did not describe her as plus size. That's we are sorry if we offended her in any way. And they said that they were featuring well, women she, of every well, then single... then what is she ticked off about? Because she was because, that consulted. Because she's because lumped in. She, maybe she feels that she's not the same size as Adele. And they should have put Candace in the issue as well. Do you know what I mean? Uh -huh. to, okay. if they were talk, but they're talking about the women that inspire them for being comfortable with who they are. Yeah. I don't think anybody until now knew what size Amy Schumer was. Or you cared. Know? Or, you know. And <laughs> Most women don't yeah, care because I, they're going through yeah, their own issues. Because you have your own thing. But, you know, it's kind of wacky. Anyway. Candace apparently has no idea what's going on. <laughs> I do, I do. No, I don't. But, uh, I kind of think she might be happy. But first, here's another birthday message from somebody who met Candace 30 years ago on the set of her very first film, oh. Punch Line. Oh, Candace, it's your mother calling you. It's been a long time. You don't write, you don't call. I remember you being absolutely delicious. So fun to be with. I love you still. Happy birthday. 40th. Sweet mother of God, how did that happen? Well, what can we say? Happy birthday. And they're soft and cuddly like little babies. Goodness, it's past your nap time. <laughs> so, <laughs> you oh my you are still there. Cabbage yeah, Patch Baby? The that was all, Cabbage Patch Kids. It's all about the awe factor oh, today. Right. <laughs> well, you were like uh, all of 10 when you did that commercial. Uh, <laughs> Do you remember anything? Do you I remember do. anything about it? Yes. Please do tell. I do actually remember that. And that commercial was with Danica McKellar's sister, Crystal. Yes. She was on The Wonder Years. But yes. I remember auditioning and the director just saying, oh, just love that little baby. Love <laughs> right. that baby. Right, right, right. Did you get to keep did. that baby? I did. Uh, I do you still baby. have it? My mom probably does in a trunk somewhere in her house. Okay. Well, you're not the only one who's celebrating a birthday today. We have another special guest, a dear friend and a fellow Aries who didn't want to miss your big four. Oh, please welcome the fabulous and always interesting Marilu Hannah. <laughs> So 
celebrating dual birthdays. You're both Aries. We're both Aries. Birthday she's twins. my birthday twin. She's my little birthday present. That's what I call her. Aww. My little birthday present. I play her mom on a series right. for Hallmark. Right. Uh, the Hallmark, the uh, Aurora Tea Garden series. Right. She's kind of like uh, Aurora. She's Aurora right. Tea Garden, right. which is kind of murder she wrote. And I'm the mom who doesn't want her involved in these murders. But Understand. can't stop an Aries. No, you no. can't. No, you oh can't. God, I'm so happy I'm that so you're happy here. She's you. Mary Lou's one of my favorite people in the whole world. And I look up to you so much, and you've taught me so much. I'm even wondering if this cake is like gluten free and super free. healthy. She taught me how to stand and have really great posture and has changed my eating habits. And you have to go buy all of Mary Lou's books because no, she's awesome. I just love okay. it. Thank you. A gluten free cake? Yes. Like? Yes. Should we cut it? Do we cut it? Let's cut it. Let's you should probably cut it. Wait, wait, it's her birthday. Do you want me to do it for you? I thought it was being nice. Wait a second. Wait a minute. You almost stabbed Paul. You did. You Shopping. When she says, yes. I will cut you, she means it. I was trying to <laughs> serve her. Somebody cut my oh cake gosh. on my birthday, we'd have a problem. Um, okay, uh, <laughs> you guys, uh, what was it like working? Did you? I, oh, I've been, we've, been, we've done three movies. So we're about to yes. go do our fourth. She thought oh, I was in no. Vancouver, but I, I leave tonight right you after do. the show. You start tomorrow, yeah. right? Yeah, I start tomorrow. So we're great. I'm not going to be Would very you like good at help with that? Yes. We okay. have to make I want to show the audience I'm a waitress. Back. I want to show the audience a sneak peek of the just of the new installment shot called Three Bedrooms, One Corpse. Take a look. I think we should have said no when your aunt Mila asked us to be in her wedding. She's your sister, and she has no taste in wedding finery. Well, if you'd let John propose, you could throw a wedding and show us all how it's done. Oh, please. A woman should date at least a year before she's ready to contemplate a proposal. Besides, this has completely put me off weddings. Unless, of course, you were the bride. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's the first time I've seen that preview. I know, me too. Me too, me too. Um, it's so great working with Candace because not only does she just set a great tone on the uh, on the show, but we're like doing them so quickly. And you know, she's she's got that energy she and everything. Energy. So I know. And she was I have to keep up with you no. and your energy because you have the most energy. Oh, and oh, it's great that's energy. I'm so we love happy. her here. She sets such a great tone. We love having you at the table. Too. So you guys are birthday twins. You're 64, I'm right? 64 today. Okay. So What did you do for your 40th? Did you have any advice? Oh, my 40th. It was on a Monday. It was uh, 1992, and uh, I was actually in New York. I came the week before because there was I was at an Academy Awards party, and that was the one where uh, the winner take all. I, I won. The winner take all. Uh, it was Silence of the Lambs, and you know it was like all these other things. Jack Palance did the push up and stuff. But I was on Letterman a couple days before, and then for my birthday I celebrated the Saturday before we went to see Tuck and Patty at the Beacon, and then went to the Rainbow Room. Oh my okay, so what I did for my this is not normal. Who was, though, right? who was on stage with? Balance that night. Who was on? Uh, Billy Crystal. Uh, oh, you were. Oh my God! But he, you didn't host that night. I was. I was you standing right there when he did when that he did push, up. push ups. That's right. Yes. Oh my God! I knew you'd get it. You yeah. Remember, remember that? I'm shocked. No, I. No, no. <laughs> no I remember Billy no, Crystal yeah, hosted because I remember. Yes, yes. It was a sweet for Silence of the Lambs. Yes. Yeah. What, what she's but, doing, ladies and gentlemen, is she has a condition called highly superior autobiographical memory. She remembers mm -hmm. everything that ever happened to her. It's annoying. It's actually. <laughs> only for my husband. Very <laughs> annoying for my husband. It's like. I don't know how she lives with this, but you just remember everything on every any given day of her life. Right. She can tell you what was happening that right. day. Right. So, so your birthday. So I'm going to throw out okay. a few random dates, and I want to sure. ask you about what happened on this child's birthday. Oh, okay. Oh, I might for me. I was doing the Broadway show Grease. It was a Tuesday that year of '76. I was hanging out with Tree Williams, who was playing Danny Zuko, and he drove us all out to Darien, Connecticut, for the day, and we like going on his boat, and you know, just now kind of fun not, things. I have not given her any any heads up on this. So no, everything not at all. she says is really off the top. So what about Grease, what about Candace? Like my favorite movie. Well, what okay. did she do? I don't. She was born on that day. Yeah, you mean what was happening? Day, do you know? Oh, you mean for me or something? Yeah, she I guess. Oh, anybody. Anybody. Oh, how yeah. about her? Yeah, how about the birthdays? Hey, birthdays, April 6th. Right. right. So that day, any, any yeah, year that day. But she just any, said it. She just, she just, she just, that's when she was, she was doing Greece. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, what about April, 20, what about yeah. April 21st, 1986? I knew it was uh, April tw <laughs> Oh, that was uh, April 21st, 1986 was a Monday. That was Chernobyl, wasn't it? Because there was no Chernobyl was a, the, a couple weeks before. Um, uh, that's Tony Dance's birthday. Oh, my mom April Dance. What day was that? That was a Monday. April 21st, 1986. I have a quick question. Sure. When you're going through your day, is it like you're stepping outside of your body and remembering? No, I'm inside my body always. Like, I go back to the day she was born or any of our birthdays because, like, her 16th birthday, of yeah. course, was my 40th. Right. And, you know, just just different things. I mean, I could tell every birthday what she did. I mean, she could tell what she did and I could tell her. We, we were talking different. about this it's a few weeks awesome. ago and she's like, what do you remember on your 16th birthday? And I'm like, I don't remember anything. And she, like, went through her whole calendar of, like, every she, she pulls inside. Yeah. She has the filing so cabinets and she goes so through she has it in her head. She has a particular ability. Oh. Shouldn't you be curing a disease or You're something? Right. <laughs> I mean, no, I am. What are you talking about? Yes.
I you're 63 say, and you're telling people that it is in fact <coughs> possible to remember stuff. It is. No, also, but this is what I say. If all you do is you tr you live your life, you turn off the light, you go to sleep, and nothing's moved forward, what does it all mean? This so is to right. me, it's like uh, the, it's your strongest line of defense against meaninglessness that we have because you can bring things from the past, bring it to the present, there and let it inform a better future. And there you go. Amen. And that's why we say thank you to Mary Lou Hammer. There's more. plenty more surprises for Candace ahead, but first, yet another birthday message from somebody who goes way back with her. Way back. This is a little birthday song that I wrote for Candace called Lordy Lordy. Candace is turning 40. Lordy Lordy. Oh, Candace is turning 40. Yeah. Now, baby, get your butt back here to California and let's drink some wine and celebrate. Happy birthday. I love you. Grammy Award winning rock group for King and Country covering Taylor Swift's Out of the Woods. Taylor's a fan and so am I, a huge one. Here to perform the title song from their upcoming movie Priceless. I am thrilled to welcome for King and Country. <laughs> That isn't who you are. Oh, oh. It might be hard to hear, but let me tell you, dear, if you could see what I can see, I know you would believe that isn't who you are. There's more to who you are. Oh, oh. So when it's naked, I see you dressed in white. Special guest, Candace Bray's daughter Natasha, right here. Sing away, We can start again. On until the end, love. We can start again. Great picture. Put in your album. Um, Joel, Luke, you two brothers have been singing together since you were teenagers, right? And uh, one of the reasons why Candace loves your music is because it's so inspirational. Tell us why you chose to sing Priceless with her daughter. Well, first of all, we just have to say, Happy birthday to you. Yes. Well, we chose this song really because, uh, well, this is a beautiful picture right here. It your is, your right? tears say it all. Uh, one of the things that we've shared about since the beginning of the band is we've talked about woman's worth. We've talked about men being chivalrous in, in how they love. And so this song was the inspiration, you know? I mean, that, that was inspired by that message. And we also have a film coming out that deals with this exact issue in the fall uh, called Priceless, sort of a dramatic love story. But you've summed it up right here with your tears, as I said. It's well, beautiful. Thank you. thank you for writing the beautiful music that you do. I mean, I just love listening to it. It wakes me up every morning. It encourages me. It encourages my daughter. I encourage everyone to go out and listen to their music and go to iTunes. Do you, did, your whole, did your whole family listen to it? Oh, yeah. Yes. Really like who? Name them. Like all of them? All, in, the, in the people in, your, in my family? Yeah. The, oh, all of them. Up, on the way to school. Land, I, don't, I don't believe you. Facts. I don't believe you. Do you guys? Do you guys listen to the? Do you guys listen to the group? I mean, oh, I love you. Thank you for having us. 
What a gift, huh? Levy, Max, what's up, you guys? Hi, good to see you. Do you have any words for your mom for her birthday? <clears throat> well, you know, I mean, you can't get mad now when I say happy 40th birthday. <laughs> um, you know, I think it's crazy to look back and see all that, all that you've done in the 40 years. I mean, from countless movies, seasons upon seasons of TV shows. I mean, now you guys are nominated for an Emmy. Yes, we I are. mean, so, um, I mean, above all that, I mean, the mom you are, the way you raise us, I mean, how you support our family, I think it's incredible, and we're all so, so proud of you, and we love you so much. Val, you and Candace have been together since she was 18 years old. Please. Yeah, no, it's, it's, it's been a great journey. Um, you know, I know you're for... like, I haven't died. I'm like, I feel like I can right now. <laughs> yeah. Well, happy birthday, sweetie. It's Thank been it's you. been awesome. Uh, we're so happy to be here for I you. Love we love you. you. Members of our studio audience are going home with a copy of Four Kings and Country. Um, I can't read it. It's really small. Run wild, live free strong. The deluxe issue will be back right. But first, another birthday message for Candace. Hey, Candace. Happy 40th birthday. I love you. I miss you. And uh, just oh, sending you all the love in the world. Mwah. Happy 40th, Candace. I can't believe you're 40. I have known you since you are 10 years old, and it has been a privilege watching you take this journey. You've accomplished so much in your 40 years, and I know the next 40 are going to be just as exciting. I love you. Happy birthday. You will always be my little sister. Can you keep a secret? Because this week could be full of epic surprises. I am so excited. Just look who's coming to our house. And Friday, Bernie Sanders is here live. I can't wait. This week on the Emmy-nominated The View on ABC. some Chef Boyardee at the tender age of eight. I love the cheeks. Okay, Val, you're back at the table. How long have you guys been married again? Almost 20 years. Oh, incredible. Years. You guys are such a great couple. But I think we heard before we went to break that you said that uh, there was a, a special surprise for Candace. Yes. Can you tell us what that is? Another one. <laughs> okay. Well, you know your parents, they were traveling everywhere yes. and, you know, they were in Napa, so they couldn't be here today, but okay. uh, they sent a, a lovely message for you okay. and video, okay. so... Happy birthday, Candace, on your 40th birthday. And we hope you have many more years of doing what you want to do, and we couldn't be more proud. I see you on The View, and I just, I'm so proud to see you there with your own thoughts and your own convictions, and, and, uh, and yet you still have that joy in your heart. We love you, we're so proud of you, and we just want to say happy 40th birthday. with your parents about wasn't yeah. there one other thing you wanted to tell her yeah I think I just lied to you and <laughs> your parents are here <laughs> <laughs> To what a wonderful world. No, my dad and I danced with each other at our wedding to that song. My dad's so nervous right now. <laughs> he's like, I don't know how you get in front of television, like live television every day. He's so cute. I know. <laughs> Where are we sitting? Are we I'll just stand next to you. Yeah, yeah. Stand right here. Dad, you could take a seat, Dad, right here. There's a big seat for you, Dad. Have him sit down. Or mom. He's a little nervous. That's all right. That's all right. We got you. We got you. Happy birthday. This is so exciting, Miss Natasha, just not the best. Oh, my God. Overwhelming. This is, I can only. Seeing Natasha up on stage, it just, as a mom, it, it just, I mean, I want to cry again because I'm so proud and it makes me think just the words that you said. Thank you for um, all that you invested in me and, and put into my life that I'm able to sit here at this table mm -hmm. because it weren't, weren't for you and your influence and your love and your nurturing care all the days of my life, I wouldn't be here and I wouldn't be the person I am today. So thank you. I love you. She looks more like your, the, the, your wife than you, I must yeah. say. Although, you look Russian to me. Now I know why you're attracted to Russian men. Your father, <laughs> what can I say, Joy? Your father looks more Russian than your husband. But who, <laughs> who is she more like in personality, you or your wife? Uh, I would say me. <laughs> Yeah. I get, my, my dad has a dry sense of humor. I love his humor, and he's always like, you get me. You get my jokes. Um, I heard that you both brought something for Candace. You have a little something special for her. Let's bring it out. Yes, we do. You got 
to put one little brown person in there and say it's my brown person. There is one brown person. My best friend is. <laughs> All right, then I don't have to come next year. But I might just. But I might. I might show up just love to have you. Yeah. You were, you were just saying that you feel so much pride for it, Natasha, but I would imagine that's just a, a little bit of what you felt over the last 40 years for your daughter. Mm, yes, definitely. She's just. Um, Oh, I just as a little girl, I, I think back about, you know, where I was at 40 years old, and she's kind of at the same place. Really? We both got married young, 18, 19, started having our children, and to see her as a mom and what you have, how you've trained your children up in the Lord mm, is mom. so awesome. And the kids that they are today feel so proud. We have an awesome husband who just honors you and cherishes you, and we're just so grateful and blessed and honored Thank to you. be her parents. Well, don't go anywhere. You guys have just the most precious family. <laughs> Happy birthday, Candace. So we're going to be right back after this birthday message. <laughs> Happy 40th birthday, Candace. I hope I look as great as you when I'm 40. Or wait, I'm turning 40 soon, too. I still hope I look as great as you when I'm 40. Candace, I'm so proud of everything you've accomplished in this past year alone, much less the last 40 years. I can't believe we've known each other since we were 10 years old. I'm so proud of you. I love you so much, and I hope you have the best birthday ever. Mwah. Tomorrow, Alyssa Milano unruling the catwalk of Project Runway All-Stars. Plus, Whoopi's finding out life-saving ways to beat one of the hardest addictions to break, smoking cigarettes. We have one more surprise for you. Your sister, Melissa, brother-in-law, Jason, and their five kids are all here. What to say? I have two minutes to die. I gotta stretch. So, Candace, oh, say there, oh, Candace. I think everybody wants to see the baby. This is me stretching. Oh, everybody oh, wants to see here. the oh, baby. Goodness. Do you have any special words you want to say? This is Megan, and she's only a, say hi. she's only a, a month old. One month old. Yes. My, What's your this is my sister Melissa. I talk about her all the time. She homeschools all of them, <laughs> and she's like a rock star mom. Not really. Thank you guys for coming. This is amazing. Yes, of course. There's, well, you are now grandkids. officially the King family, okay? Uh, Do you, does yes, anybody remember please. that? Never mind. <laughs> you, we should remember. We, should we cut the cake? I guess. Okay, let's cut the cake. You want Raymond to cut the cake? Here, Kate, here, Kate. Can I hold the baby one? Yes, you hold the baby. Guys, this was the oh, be best birthday oh by care. far. I just can't, I can't even. Thank you for being a part of this. <laughs> Thank you for being Oh, this is so good. Okay, we're cutting cake. I'm not okay, so they're cutting the cake. We can say, you, yes, you can sing it in Russian. Sing happy birthday in Russian. Yeah. Sing it. Sing. Oh, my God. Thank you. Thank you.